Well, it was March 14th, and we've been tapping in for a couple days here. Um, it's been a cold winter, and this is the really first time we've felt like it's it's time. So that's what we're doing here this morning. And I got a picture here of a maple tree that's really had some issues, but these things are survivors. I mean, if you look at the sprout that's come up from this thing and all the, the deterioration that's gone on down below it. So maple trees can take an awful lot of abuse, not that we should give it to them, but from the little holes that we put in them, the 5 16th we're using, and, and some of these holes are even smaller than that, down to a quarter inch. So um, not really damaging the trees at all and, and getting a very nice product they're giving us. So anyway, we'll continue on our tapping here and, and we'll get moving. Here's an old tap was in there. So we're not gonna wanna tap below or above that one. We're gonna, we've got kind of a short drop line on this. So we'll find a spot over here. That's kind of looking like a, a good spot right in there to tap. We'll pull a drill out here and Just about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. And we'll wrap that in until we hear the right sound. There it is. And that's it. And we'll finish up, get the other side of this tree. And we'll find the spot that we kind of like. Couple of old taps up here. Didn't take a lot of time doing this, but right about here. Some battery op drills sure make a make a difference here. My grandfather and my dad did a lot of tapping. My grandfather always tapped with brace and bit, and my dad did some of that. Then he bought a, a Queen power tapper, gas tapper, and I think must have weighed 15, 20 pounds. He lugged that around and. You know, no snowshoes, and he's tapping the trees with that, but we've got a lot easier way to go here now with the battery out drill. So, okay, let's get that spile here tapped in. Again, this is the 5 16th. Keep my finger off the lens. There you can hear that change in sound. That's as far as we go in with that. Yeah. On up the line to our next trees. I was walking along here thinking back in the 50s when my dad bought that gas gas tapper. I suppose I was 10 years old or so and he'd go ahead and like I say no snowshoes, he'd go ahead and tap the trees we'd come along behind and and uh, tap in the spiles, hang the buckets that we had put out maybe a couple of weeks earlier than that. Put the buckets by each tree and then he'd come around, tap them in, we'd follow his foot footsteps. Sometimes the problem was when you come to a tree, trying to find the hole that he'd bored in it because we had some pretty good size trees in those days before the, it was before the blowdown that hit our bush in 90, 94, but pretty good sized trees in there. And sometimes tapping those trees when the trees weren't running, uh, taps weren't running, you couldn't see where the where the hole is. So you'd look for the sawdust on the on the snow and, and then kind of figure out where the wind was blowing and where that hole might be and then you know, find that and tap in that 7 16th sole spile and, and hang your bucket on it. But that was a, you know, quite a ways back and things have sure changed a lot since then.